During the nine years of occupation, Russia turned the prosperous Crimea into a military base. Most of the beaches were closed. The Kremlin handed them over to the army. The best enterprises were transferred to Putin's allies. And ordinary Russians were encouraged to move to Crimea and become owners of property there. A large number of people who came from Russia and lived on the territory of Crimea, from 500 to 800,000 people, even some experts say about a million people who came to Crimea. This is such a new colonization of the territories. Kremlin propagandists used to convince people that Crimea was with Russia forever and that there was nothing to worry about. But with the approach of the armed forces of Ukraine and the first explosions at Russian military bases, which the Kremlin shamefully calls claps, it became difficult to put a good face on a bad game. And after the destruction of part of the Kerch bridge, it is impossible at all. Quite a large number of people really leave the territory of the peninsula, sell their property, including those from the occupation administrations, their family members, family members of law enforcement officers, in particular in the Jankoy district, in Armyansk, in Sevastopol. The mass outflow of Russians from Crimea primarily affected the real estate market. Construction projects are frozen and apartments in new buildings are empty. Sales of apartments in our complex were quite active all this year, until the autumn. But since October, demand has practically stopped. Many buyers who were going to buy until the end of the year decided to wait and postpone their plans until after the new year, or even until spring. The reason for this is the political situation and the uncertainty associated with it, as well as the lack of convenient logistics to the peninsula. Irina Romanova, marketing director of the resort facility near Yalta, in a command for Radio Liberty. But some bloggers, lovers of the so-called Russian world, are trying to convince everyone that now is the time to get the much-desired house at the seaside. After all, the prices are cheap. There are more plots on the market. There are more offers than a year ago. The prices of rental properties have dropped. The prices of apartments for sale, of real estate are also falling. Kremlin bloggers keep silent about the most important thing – the imminent departure of illegally obtained houses or apartments. After all, according to Ukrainian law, all these purchase transactions are considered invalid. And it does not matter whether it is new buildings or houses that were built before the occupation. The Russians have no right to build anything in the Ukrainian Crimea, so the housing will definitely be on the property of Ukraine. If we are talking about real estate that was purchased before 2014, then accordingly, those citizens who for whatever reason could be deprived of it, they of course have a full right to its return, because all transactions that were carried out on the property of citizens of Ukraine after 2014, they are invalid. Experts advise Russians to leave the occupied peninsula, otherwise they will be left without real estate and will be held accountable for violating Ukrainian legislation. Reported by Serhii Kulas, Ksenia Berlinenko, UATV News.